हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर अली जमा आई एम ए फिजिशियन डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट करंटली प्रैक्टिसिंग एट नारायण विद्यालय लैंगफर्ड रोड एंड जमा हेल्थ केयर व्हिच इज माय ओन सेंटर एट ऑस्टिन टाउन बैंगलोर इन द इवनिंग आवर्स इट्स अ वेरी ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी टू इट्स अ प्लेजर इट्स माय प्लेजर टू बी हियर इन द एक्सपर्ट पैनल ऑफ डॉक्टर्स uh who always give insightful uh thoughts and share their knowledge to the public regarding diabetes and other preventable diseases i would like to thank discovery division of mankind company which are doing great work in spreading the awareness of diabetes and other diseases as well today uh, we will be discussing about what are the early signs of being a diabetic patient what you should notice when you are having diabetes so before coming to that topic i would like to take one or two minutes of yours to discuss about what exactly is diabetes mellitus see diabetes mellitus as a general definition is persistent increase in the blood sugar levels we call it as diabetes it can be because of uh, multiple reasons but the commonest reason is heredity genes which will play major role your parents had it you will have it stress is also considered as one of the major risk factor for getting diabetes so heredity and also autoimmune reasons other reasons but still the common reason common cause of sugar is still unknown it is a metabolic disease it is basically because of two reasons one is deficiency of insulin in your body insulin is an hormone which regulates which controls the blood sugar which it prevents the blood sugar to shoot up to higher levels so either two reasons either you have deficiency of insulin or whatever insulin is there it's not functioning 100% so these are the two reasons why we get diabetes so coming to our today's topic the important thing that is early signs of being a diabetic patient today india has become the capital city the capital country of diabetes in the world out of 1 in 6 diabetic patients in the world are indians they expect to say that in 2045 there will be 36 million diabetic cases in our country so seeing such a surge of the cases so much prevalence of the cases they say it is 8.9% of entire population of india you can imagine 8.9% of entire population of india are diabetic so i would uh, urge everyone to go through these early signs we don't know that whether we are diabetic or not but if you notice these symptoms these feeling in your body then you may consider yourself as a diabetic or not so we say that when they come to us for diagnosis of diabetes they are already having many complications among the major complications we have retinopathy eye issues kidney issues nephropathy and the neuropathy where the nerves get damaged because of high sugars if you are if you want to know that you are diabetic or not and if you want to know whether all these symptoms correlates with diabetes or not you should listen to this very carefully there are 10 important points 10 signs of being diabetic which should which you should not leave it in at unattentively you should not leave it without attention you should give attention to it these 10 points are the first and foremost important thing is you will feel more hungry 
more hunger is one of the earliest signs symptoms of sugar and then more thirst you would like to drink more water because of which the third main important complaint what diabetic patients come and tell us is they say that we in the night time we go to bathroom for urination at least four to five times it disturbs our sleep you drink a lot of water you lose a lot of water through urination so first and foremost earliest symptoms is while talking you get dryness of mouth when you're tense you get dryness of mouth you just had two hours before food you feel hunger hungry one more time so where where does the food has gone so these are the earliest signs earliest symptoms of being a diabetic patient so you should not ignore these three important things polyphagia that is more hunger you will feel more you want more food to eat it is you are consuming more food than the normal earlier period when you are normal when you are diabetic you eat more food that feeling will be there more hunger more thirsty dryness of mouth you drink lot of water and then you urinate lot or you urinate lot of times you know it disturbs your sleep so these are the three earliest signs of being a diabetic patient after this many patients come to us the fourth important point is fatigue you know where everything they say is sust ho raha hai mujhe weakness lag raha hai i am feeling weak day by day i am feeling weak i am not able to do my routine work as i was doing early so this is also one of the important factor important sign and symptom of sugar so as you proceed the third, the fifth important point for the sugar patients to notice is irritability they are not uh, the uh, as calm as before they get irritated to small small things their skin becomes itchy they'll have itching all over the body so if you have hunger more hunger than usual more thirsty your mouth gets dry you need more water to drink the third important point is you are passing more urine either day time or night time usually night time it disturbs the sleep they come to us with the saying that we have lot of uh, urination nowadays and because of which we, uh, we we get disturbed sleep so they come with this so the fourth important point is fatigue so coming to the fifth point itching if, if you have irritation in the body if you have itching in the uh, skin all of the body is because of dehydration because of the water imbalance in the uh, body you will have itching if you have any of these five things you reach you you go to the doctor get your sugar check so first five i have told these are the earliest earliest symptoms of being a diabetic patient which people usually neglect because they are so simple they are not concerned about that you know they don't give much concern to these symptoms and they leave these symptoms then comes the next stage where if you have any wound in the body it doesn't get heal faster if you are non diabetic one simple cut in the skin it heals in 3 to 4 days maximum one week but for diabetic patient it takes 2 weeks 3 weeks 4 weeks even a month so many patients come to us with only complain that this wound is there it is not healing from one month what would be the cause when we check their sugar sugar will be very high so the sixth important thing is slow healing of any wound in the body or any infection if you have, if you have got example now covid covid for normal person 3 to 4 days fever and all the symptoms vanishes by a week this fourth wave i am talking about but diabetic patients will have one week of fever they'll have cough for one month so it's it's the recovery of any infection in the body either uh, the lung infection urinary tract infection wounds in the body delay delaying in the recovery of the wounds or infection is one of the signs of being a diabetic patient so you'll have to be very careful in this time if it goes beyond the usual time get your sugars checked so this is the sixth important sign and symptom of being a diabetic patient then coming to the next very important thing is i've got infection today 
it's healed in one week time i don't know whether i'm diabetic or no then again i get i repeatedly get infections in the span of 3 months i've got four to five types of infections so if you are a diabetic you are prone for infections if your sugars are not controlled you are prone for recurrent infections recurrent infections very frequent infections which are unexplained you will say to the doctor that why is my health going down why am i getting infections repeatedly so this is also one of the signs of being a diabetic patient so you should be noticing this also very carefully then comes blurred vision many people patients who are at around 40 to 45 years their parents had cataract after uh, 80s and 60s but if you are a diabetic you will get early cataracts you will have blurred vision i have seen cases of sudden loss of vision without any reason they have lost their vision they will have hollowness their vision is blurred all this because of when we check the sugar sugar will be shooting up so they come with i complication of the sugar to us so if any of the signs of decreased vision blurred vision sudden loss of the vision you should approach to the doctor and get your sugars checked so this very important point this is the seventh point which i told you blurred vision slow healing of infections or recurrent infections and then comes the important factor that is weight loss all diabetic patients will have their muscles getting broken down their fat getting broken down to make energy to the body and they they we lose proteins in the urine and because of which you will lose your weight so loss of weight is one of the commonest symptoms of early diabetes so when they come in the family they have said no why have you lost your weight he has become thin he has become thin without diet control he is eating more he is in drinking more in spite of that he has lost his weight so the cause would be the sugar so you should be very careful this is a very important sign of being diabetic that you lose weight very uncontrolled uh, sugars for long time you will you will be a diabetic patient you might be a diabetic patient so you should check your sugars at earliest and then comes the common more common than weight loss is these symptoms because the symptoms of neuropathy we call it as diabetic neuropathy where the signs of burning feet burning hands tingling sensation numbness pains some crawling of the reptiles feeling needle prick feeling all these are the symptoms which they come with when they have diabetic neuropathy where the nerves of your body are getting affected because of high sugars and you get all these symptoms when you present to the doctor and the doctor will check your sugars it's very easy to detect diabetes if you have all these symptoms but the main issue is in our southeast asia diabetic patients present to us with the complications they doesn't know that they are diabetic there comes the role of where we do screening we do cams to check our sugars nowadays the world is so easy accessible uh, things are there we have glucometer at our uh, uh, our residence every every almost almost half of the indians are having glucometer at their houses now so they should check their sugars very frequently at least once in 6 months if you are about 30 years if you are above 40 years at least once in 3 months if your parents has sugar once in a month one simple check of the sugar will give you an idea of whether you are diabetic or no and as i said the rule of this is 10 signs 10 symptoms of being diabetic which i told you now that is more hunger more thirsty you will eat more you will eat drink more you will pass more urine irritability weakness then slow healing of the wound frequent infections frequent back to back in 3 months 5 to 7 infections then blurred vision then neuropathy symptoms like burning feet tingling sensation numbness okay and the pains prick like needle prick like feeling or 
unexplained weight loss even weight loss is also one of the important these 10 important signs uh, are there to uh, you know tell a person whether they are diabetic or no if you notice if you are concerned about your health you will notice these symptoms and make sure that you check your sugars regularly as i advise and if in case if god forbid it turns out to be more example they'll tell you what are the normal sugar levels today uh, without any food timings i have just checked my sugar if the blood sugar that is called as random blood sugar if random blood sugar is more than 180 then i am supposed to be a uh, diabetic if it is ranges between 160 to 180 then i am called as pre diabetic and then if i am less than 140 then i am not a diabetic so i am a non diabetic so i don't have to worry about all these symptoms even if they are there if in case you are beyond 180 we you go to you go to your doctor and he checks your three months average sugars and then he checks all the other parameters to diagnose whether it is a type 1 or type 2 depending on your age and he treats you the earliest signs which i told you the 10 important signs of being diabetic i have informed if you have any of these check your sugars and if they are more than 180 please see your and see your doctor at earliest so that you are safe from the sugar complication see sugar as such when it is controlled doesn't harm you much but if it is uncontrolled it can cause kidney damage eye damage heart attacks early cataracts throughout you name one disease which is not associated with sugar diabetes can be the igniting factor for all the complications of the body all the diseases so please note it is a metabolic disorder of the body where we have low insulin or the insulin which is present is not sufficiently acting which is not sufficiently working so i would urge all to please take a note of these 10 points which i'm going to repeat one more time increase hunger increase thirst then more urination especially in the night fatigue itching irritability slow slow healing of wounds or recovering from the infections recurrent infections back to back infections blurred vision then weight loss and then the neuropathy symptoms like numbness burning feet burning hands so if you have any of these complaints please do see a doctor these are the early symptoms of sugar and check your sugars regularly and stay safe and if any doubts you have you can pass it on to the comment box here and i would love to answer to them thank you so much jai hind jai karnataka